8.48 right now on this Monday morning. Up next, a smoothie that benefits your brain and your body. This is a breakfast for people on the run. Welcome back. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. There are some celebrities that are celebrating. No time for breakfast, no problem. We've got help for you from author Nancy Addison. Her new book that's out soon. Your second book out called Alive and Cooking. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Lauren. Okay, so you've got this recipe that looks great. And it's easy. And my new book, Alive and Cooking, it's for people who are getting older and and celebrating our family. And you know, we're all living longer today. So we want to do it gracefully. Yes. <laughs> and this is something that you say is good for the brain, get your kind of brain jump started in the morning, and also good for your body. Yes, I'm making an almond cacao banana smoothie that is okay. delicious and healing. And I'm just gonna start right away. I'm adding an alternative milk, and I'm using rice milk. Rice milk, okay. And I'm going to put in some protein, and so I've got some almond butter right here, and adds a little, little extra protein and a little more substance. Okay. I've got a high quality protein powder. This is a smoothie which is easy for breakfast, and really for any kind of meal where you need intense nutrition okay. to get you through the day. I want to ask you about the, the, the protein powders, because you see them all in the market, and you'll see the soy powder and whey powder. Which, which one do you like? I don't use any of those. Actually, I use a protein powder that has a lot of nutrients in it and a variety of different proteins in it that are easy to digest. And I have all of that information in my book. Oh, okay. And okay. it'll be on our recipe as well. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, Lauren, would you like to add the cacao powder? Okay. Yes, all we're having this? chocolate for breakfast. I like that. <laughs> and because cacao is the purest form of chocolate, it's the number one antioxidant food in the world. Okay. And it's a little bitter. So we're going to add just a little bit of stevia here, which is oh, a... What? what is that? <laughs> stevia is a sweeter, sweetener. It's a plant from South America. It has no calories. And it actually regulates your blood sugar. Oh. And Sounds good. <laughs> we're adding fat to our smoothie. And the reason is we think fat makes us fatter, right? But really, fat, healthy, good fat, like this pure organic coconut oil, it actually will give us more energy on a sustainable basis okay. than a cup of coffee. And it feeds our brain and it nourishes our brain. It can actually, it's being studied for curing Alzheimer's disease. Oh, really? Okay, then you got a and oil? I have some flaxseed oil here, which is essential omega-3 fatty acids. It's anti-inflammatory, and it really helps with anybody who has any kind of joint problem. All right, I see a banana there. Lastly, That's we're probably. adding a banana for, for the nutrients and just for uh, adding, making it a little creamier. And, um, we're not going to mix it up. I've already made some right here. And if it, you'd like to try it. That's great. <laughs> there you go. So I'm going to be smarter and healthier. Gotcha. Okay. And while you start downing that, I want to ask you a couple okay. of quick questions. You say this is actually cheaper than what you would buy in a store? When you make it yourself, you know what's really in it. And you can use higher quality ingredients. And yes, it costs a lot less. You taste the banana in it. It's good. <laughs> Very nice. No, it is good. And we got the recipe uh, and a link to more information on myfoxdfw.com. Book's coming out pretty soon called Alive and Cooking. Yes, and I co wrote it with Mary and Delio. Right. Outstanding. Uh, we'll have a check of your weather forecast in just a moment because we're smarter and healthier.